Hey everyone, this is Puka, and welcome to my first edition of my new segment called Puka's Pokey Thoughts. Now, basically, this is just going to be whenever I have random thoughts about the TCG, just going to make a short video and let you guys know what's up. So, this first one is going to be about the brand new mini set, Dragon Vault. Uh, now, I just picked up these cards today. They're not officially released until October 15th, but some stores have them early, and I managed to get couple packs of them so I figured I'd just talk about the set overall what I think about it and whether or not Pokemon should keep doing these things so if you want a good look at it you can see it comes with three nice packs and then a promo at the front well I don't know if it's actually a promo but it's got a stamp that says Dragon Vault right across here and yeah you can get one of five different Pokemon from this front card um, obviously most people are just going to go for the Rayquaza because that's the most playable card. But you get three packs, five cards in each pack. It's a 20 card set. And all of the cards are actually holographic. So it makes it really simple to collect all these cards. If you're a collector, this won't cost you much money at all. You should be able to get pretty much all the cards in like two or three packs. And it's also nice if you're just trying to get play sets of the cards because they're not that expensive. It's about $12 in the U.S., and you get all three packs and then a promo. So it, it's really nice for players and collectors alike to just get your hands on some new cards. Uh, now if you want to take a look, I already opened one of the packs. There's just this Rayquaza, the one that's got the stamp on it. I don't know if you can get a good look at it. The glare is pretty nasty, but there we go. Um, and then I pulled one out of a pack as well. So you can just kind of see, yep, no stamp on that one. Otherwise, there's just all sorts of Dragon Pokemon, you know, Dratini, Dragonair. Um, the full set list is on, like, Poke Beach. It's literally 20 cards, and you get three packs of five cards. So you're going to get a lot of them. I mean, there's Latios. Um, I mean, there's the whole Haxorus line you got. Uh, there's a cool Salamence. Could be useful. And then there's also some Hollow Trainers, like Super Rod. That is a reprint. And then, first ticket, that's the big one. That's the brand new one uh, that you can only get in this set. So overall, this is really nice, because normally what they would do is just take these cards and throw them in a set. Uh, this happens a lot when there's just, like, Japanese promos that never get released in the U.S. For example, I believe, like, the Garchomp Level X in Majestic Dawn, it didn't belong in the set at all. There were no pre-evolutions for it, no Gibble, Gabite, even Garchomp, just a random level X. And what they would do is just throw these cards in a set, because they didn't know what to do with them. But now it seems like they're actually going to make these mini sets, which I do like a lot. The only problem is uh, a lot of store owners have complained that, you know, the big card is the Rayquaza. As you can see. Um, this card was worth a lot of money. And now you can just go pick it up at any store for about 12 bucks. <laughs> uh, there's no even like praying to open it from a pack. It's just there on display in front of you. So that is kind of a point of debate for the, whether or not they should do this sort of thing. But I don't think it's an issue most of the time. That was just kind of a fluke situation. And overall, I am a pretty big advocate of these kinds of things. It's good for Pokemon because... It's more merchandise they can put out there. They're brand new cards that people just want to get their hands on. Uh, I, I think this is just a weird exception where the Rayquaza was already in one of the previous sets. And it was rarer than it should have been. So it, in the future, I hope this will just be like sets of, of cards we never got that we were supposed to get. And uh, I really like this. Uh, the tins, you can argue for or against. It can be good to have cards that are expensive like for example Mewtwo EX was expensive when it first came out a lot of people complained about that but I don't think it was that unreasonable to pay that price for it sometimes there are just competitive cards that you need to pay money for uh, for the most part Pokemon is a relatively cheap game so having to shell out like 60 or 80 bucks for a Mewtwo EX uh, I mean obviously it sucks <laughs> um, you don't want to spend 60 or 80 dollars however much you would spend on one card but um, if you need it you need it uh, and it wasn't a ridiculously hard card to get 
That's why I didn't mind the Mewtwo being that expensive. I mean, it was an EX. You got it in every couple boxes. You could even pull two in a box if you were lucky. You had the regular and the full art. Whereas the shiny Rayquaza, ugh. It was a playable card. It was very good. But you only got it in like one every nine boxes or something like that, which is just absurd. I heard stories where someone opened three cases of Dragon's Exalted and they didn't get a Rayquaza, so... That is just something that really shouldn't exist. EX is being expensive, I can understand. So when they make tins of cards that are supposed to be expensive, uh, that can actually hurt like card store owners and stuff like that, but for the players, it's a thumbs up. Uh, overall for me, Dragon Vault is a thumbs up because, I mean, it's a new set. Pokemon's getting people to spend money on their product, and people are happy to buy these products. Uh, obviously, in this case, it was for the Rayquaza, but I think overall it's a neat set to look at. Everything's hollow. You got a bunch of cool new dragons. Maybe there's some playable cards in here as well. And it's just, you know, another set. So, thumbs up from me overall. Um, this will just wrap up my first little video. And whenever I come up with little thoughts to talk about, I'll be glad to share them with you. So, I'm Puka. This has been my first episode of Poke Thoughts, And I will be back with more soon.